Yeah, hi. In the last session, we learned on how to create a um, asset retirement with a customer. So now we are going to do um, how to do the asset sale without a customer. And um, here we have some postings. Let's say we have the assets here. Uh, sorry, I don't exit. So AFAB, I always use this method to check the asset status and uh, I'm just checking the report using this to check what are the so now I'm going to take the asset which is this one um, having a, um, say I'm going to do this asset 3017 or 3015 let's say any of these asset uh, um, for a scrapping uh, I mean without customer sale without customer so how to do that um, uh, I will show you so I go back so to do this you have to follow the same steps uh, like uh, the path this is called SAP path so accounting first step and second step is uh, financial accounting and third um, is uh, fixed assets and then the posting and then the retirement after the retirement retirement with revenue so this is a two step you can go here or you can enter the transaction a b a a b a o n yeah so after you enter then you just double click on this so now you enter the asset number and i am retiring on this date so um revenue without customer so I enter here is uh, my asset net book value is 999 and then now I'm going to enter 1200 is my revenue so the previous transaction we did for last let's say this we do for a profit how the system is going to do the posting so here you can enter the transaction type which is retirement without revenue or retirement with revenue so ours is retirement with revenue and uh, or you can ignore this so you don't need to enter then simulate enter if you see the system is able to do uh, the transaction uh, type so you can see the transaction type um, let me yeah so here so you can see the default transaction type by the system so it is taken this transaction type so actually my recommendation is that whenever you are posting a transactions for the fixed assets it's always recommended to use the correct transaction types otherwise so here um, you can see so now what what will happen if I select the correct transaction type so you can see now go back so I'm going to enter so this is the where the details will be done uh, while posting uh, the transaction here so now you need to enter the special specific transaction types so uh, if you enter and also you can maintain um, the reference so this is a um, without customer so then you can go here transaction type and choose revenue with the with the sorry retirement with revenue yeah click on okay press enter so now uh, you see uh, if you enter the transaction type what will happen now yeah let's click on simulate enter so when you see this um, the system is calculating the gain or loss um, here correctly if you see here so um, let me just quickly go grab the transaction types so GL transaction type is one and then transaction type 
here. Okay, so you can see now. So what is happening here is the system is taking the transaction type here automatically in those other cases here. So this is how the system will post the transaction into the different transaction types when it is posting to the fixed asset mass fixed asset data. So this is how you can check the information um, uh, in the in the uh, system after posting. So to check the additional account assignments, you can click on this. So you can see what are all the cost center. So this is the sorry, not the cost center. So um, if you want to maintain any cost center, yes, you can maintain the cost center. Otherwise, yeah, you can leave it blank. It's it's up to you. Um, based on the requirements, yes, you need to specify those details as well. So now, um, since we already um, done the posting here, so I would like to explain here. So the asset, um, actually, if you see here, is having sorry, not this one, and um, just uh, I take um, the text bar. So by taking the text bar cost is 999.00. So and then accumulated a depreciation is 83.25. So now the sale proceeds. So now you see, if you see the net book value, net book value for this asset is actually 999 minus, um, when you take um, 999 minus 83.25 is 915.75. So this is the net book value, yeah? CNY. Sorry. So now sold sold for sold for thousand two hundred CNY. So now if you minus out net book value nine one five point seven five CNY then it will be a gain. Gain will be 1200. So 1200 minus 915.75 is 284.25. So this is your what you call the gain. So the gain is actually if you look into here, so um, the this is the gain which is posted by the system and which is posted here. So in the case of a, a cost which is reversing out, so if you see this is a uh, reversing out by the system, this is 999 and the accumulated dep depreciation also reversing and uh, additional the sale revenue is actually recording for 1200 so you can see here the information so now if you click on save the system will post the transaction so what it says it requires the SIBO assignment object so I just press enter Okay, so what happens? We have not entered the cost center. So I will go here. I forgot to enter the cost center. So additional account assignments. So here, 4130. So click on check now the cost center information
So let me save it. Let's see. The system is still partial determined. Sorry about that. So so now um yeah so let's see whether the system is posting or not transaction so now you can see the transaction is posted so the previous error uh, due to some settings so maybe those settings you if you are using a best run um, uh, company codes you will always uh, end up with uh, some errors so you must be smart enough to check those errors and root causes for those errors and try to fix it so once you do that yes you will be uh, able to do some uh, testings and postings in the idea system so here what i notice here is a field status group is which is a, a set as a different field status group so which i change to the cost accounts here so uh, now i'm able to do the posting and uh, here so once the system is posted and uh, you can see the transaction is posted then uh, the system is going to give you the message here so to see the accounting document and you can go to the either asset or you can go to a 3 or you can do from the asset as well so you can do using a b03 so click go, go so now you can see we, are, we have retired the asset on this date. So if you check the accounting documents, so the system will show the accounting documents which are posted for that particular transaction. So the reference is actually copied here without customer. So yeah, so this is how you can post uh, the asset without customer. So hope uh, you understand. So thank you guys.